Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter one of our enchanting tale. Picture this. In the heart of Rovaniemi, where snowflakes dance like tiny fairies in the crisp winter air, stands a quaint shop with frosted windows glimmering with the promise of enchantment. Above the door, swirling gold letters spell out the Snow Globe Emporium. It's the town's winter festival, a time when laughter echoes through the streets and the scent of roasted chestnuts fills the air. Elliot, Nina, and Finn stumble upon this magical place, and that's where our story begins. So, buckle up and let's dive into this winter wonderland. As Elliot pushes open the creaking wooden door, the warmth of the shop envelopes him, a stark contrast to the biting cold outside. Inside, the air is thick with the scent of pine and cinnamon, and the soft glow of lanterns illuminates shelves lined with shimmering globes. Each globe contains a miniature winter world, from frost-laden forests to icy castles, each promising adventure and mystery. Nina, Elliot's imaginative nine-year-old sister, gasps in delight, her bright blue eyes wide with wonder. She reaches for a globe depicting a swirling snowstorm, her fingers brushing against the glass, as if she could feel the magic contained within. Finn, the skeptical 13-year-old, stands back, arms crossed, his dark hair framing a face marked by sharp features. It's just glass and glitter, Elliot. There's no magic here. He scoffs, though a flicker of intrigue dances in his eyes. The shopkeeper, an elderly man with a long white beard and twinkling blue eyes, approaches them, his warm smile hiding secrets deeper than the winter night. As they step back into the snowy streets, the laughter of festival goers fades into whispers. Elliot catches snippets of conversation from the townsfolk, their voices laced with concern. Have you heard about the disappearances? One woman murmurs, her eyes darting nervously. They say it's linked to those globes. A chill creeps down Elliot's spine, and he exchanges a worried glance with Nina, who clutches her globe tightly, her imagination now tinged with unease. Finn raises an eyebrow, his skepticism wavering as the weight of the townsfolk's words settles over them like a heavy blanket of snow. The air crackles with enchantment, but beneath it lies a current of danger, a hint of the shopkeeper's true nature woven into his stories, leaving the children with a sense of foreboding. As they walk home, the snow continues to fall gently, each flake a whisper of the magic they have just begun to uncover. Elliot, Nina, and Finn, filled with excitement and trepidation, discuss their globes, unaware of the dark path they are about to embark on, where the balance of nature and magic will be tested in ways they could never have imagined. And that's a wrap for Chapter 1, folks. Remember, if you enjoyed this magical journey, hit that subscribe button and join us at Storyteller for more enchanting tales. Until next time, keep dreaming and exploring.